Hello, and welcome to the Wild Wisdom Show, hosted by a medical doctor with a different spin on women's health. Hi, I'm Dr. Patricia Mills, and I am a specialist in physical medicine rehabilitation, practicing functional medicine, and I love distilling complicated science into easy to understand information that you can start actioning right away for immediate results. And today, we're going to be talking about the four things that you should pack if you want to sleep deeply and stay healthy on your vacation. And I'm really excited about this because I'm about to pack for a trip that I'm going on. And it's like my checklist uh, to make sure that I just don't miss these four things that I always pack. And I wanted to share them with you because they really are a massive game changer when it comes to traveling. You know, when we travel, we often get sick or we may find ourselves in environments, whether it's a hotel, Airbnb, or someone else's home, where we just don't sleep as well as we usually do. So these are amazing items that you can pack for yourself. They're easy to put into your suitcase. And in many cases, you can even bring them on the plane. So here we go. Let's get started. So one of the very first things I always like to pack is my uh, plug-in salt lamp. So this is really great because it's uh, basically a travel size. It's a rock salt covering a regular um, little bulb here. And what this does is when you plug it into the wall, it creates a lovely amber glow so that when it's nighttime, you can turn off all of the really bright lights in the place that you're staying at and have these little guys scattered in, you know, the bathroom, in your bedroom, in the living room. It creates a super cozy glow that's really, um, you know, warming. It's like a fire lit kind of glow. And it allows you to then get ready for bedtime because it doesn't overly stimulate um, the blue receptors in your um, in your back of your eyes, which tells you that it's daytime, which is what you don't want your brain to think when it's about time for you to go to sleep. I find that when I go to certain places like hotels or Airbnbs, people don't necessarily think about strategic lighting at nighttime for deep sleep. So I love to take these and they're great for kids as well, um, using them as a nightlight, although they're a bit uh, too bright for the deep dark night. So I bring, I actually bring a red bulb and I'd switch this for the red bulb as their nightlight. So it's a nice deep red color at night. And um, that's a really great nightlight for them. These are, I buy them on Amazon and they're um, pretty affordable. I mean, they're about $25 each at the time of this recording, but I found them to be an incredible investment and I have them around my house. So I just basically grab them from around my home and I bring about four of them in my suitcase for traveling. So item number one is strategic lighting for nighttime deep sleep. Items number two are um, a patch, eye patch, and earplugs. So basically at night um, at, in my home, I keep the house pretty dark at night, so I don't have any um, light affecting my sleep. But when you go into other places, sometimes they'll have like uh, inappropriate um, curtains so that the bright light from the outside streams on inside if there's like a, a you know a street lights outside or flashing signs outside it can really disrupt your sleep and also if there are um, sounds of sirens or cars depending on where you are that's where the earplugs come in really handy so I always have these items packed for sure like if I forget them I always regret it and I go out to my local pharmacy and buy a new pair the third item are my blue blocking glasses. And so these ones are true blue blocking glasses in the sense that they block 100% of blue light. They look super sexy when you put them on. Just kidding about that part. And basically, uh, as soon as it gets to be about eight o'clock or nine o'clock, um, I start wearing these, particularly if I, uh, you know, if the lighting in the in the place I'm staying in is an ideal, or if I want to, for example, um, watch a show um, or stay on my computer a little bit later, or use a TV. Um, in the place that I'm staying at. Um, the TV that we have at home, I'm able to adjust the settings, but some places don't have that. So I bring this and this allows me to do the things at night when my body is not supposed to be exposed to blue light anymore. So I can go into that deep sleep. Blue light blocks the formation of melatonin, which is your deep sleep hormone. So that's why things like these blue blocking glasses can be so crucial depending on where you go. And the last is actually a category of things which are my supplements. So I bring supplements so that I can prevent myself and my family from getting sick from traveling. 
I mean, whether you're traveling, uh, particularly in a plane, you know, you're exposed to a lot of people, you're more likely to be exposed to germs. Traveling can be stressful. So your stress response goes up, your ability to fight infections goes down. And so having the right supplements um, to maintain the, um, you know, the strength of the immune system is really key. And so there are specific supplements that I use when I travel. One of them is my vitamin C. And I bring my vitamin C powder, which I can mix in water uh, and drink that as a morning health tonic. So I bring my vitamin C powder and I really like this one by Thorne, the butter, butter, uh, buffered vitamin C powder. So it's not an acidic vitamin C powder. That's what it means by buffered. The other um, supplement that I always bring is magnesium. Again, I like my magnesium powder. This one is a gentle powder and it's magnesium bisglycinate, which is very well absorbed into the body and also helps the immune system by providing the body with enough magnesium to make energy to fight infections. So I always bring that and I mix this magnesium powder with my vitamin C powder. Uh, I also love to bring zinc. Zinc is known to help support the immune system and I usually have a zinc liquid at home but for traveling I like to travel with um, things that could go on my carry-on. So a zinc cap uh, pill or um, capsule or tablet and this one is by pure encapsulations and it's a 15 milligram dose and that's a nice safe dose to stay at but if i do get sick or if i start to notice i'm getting sicker i will increase this dose to about 60 milligrams a day for myself not for my kids you don't want to go higher um, than 15 milligrams a day of zinc for children so i always bring this and I always bring my liposomal vitamin C. And what I like about this particular brand, which is by um, Live On, liposomal vitamin C. And the reason I like liposomal vitamin C is that it is better absorbed into the body than any other kind of vitamin C. And these ones come in little packets. So I can actually still bring them on the plane, even though they're liquid, they don't seem to cause any issues, or you can just pack them um, in your in your luggage. Um, but what you do is, if, if I do start to notice that myself or my family members are getting sick, I basically open these up, put them in a little bit of water, and we shoot them like little shooters, so my kids don't have a problem with doing that, and I do this myself. And this seems to really help because it's better absorbed. It's more expensive, which is why I don't use this every day. I use this if I can tell that I'm about to get sick. And sometimes I'll even use it um, like on the airplane. When I'm on the plane, I'll take a little bit and a little cup of water and drink it. Or just before I go flying, I'll start to take this. And this is if I really want to prevent getting sick. This really helps um, prevent um, infections from taking hold. The other supplement I bring, not because it necessarily helps with sleep or um, or um, uh, sleep or staying healthy, is just that I really like to have digestive supplements, and I'll take an all-in-one digestive supplement that has um, HCL betaine, digestive enzymes, a little bit of bile acids, and I'll take that because. I get to bring them with me when I go out for dinners and, and restaurants. When I travel, of course, uh, I'm not eating exactly like how I eat at home. So, you know, that can sometimes affect your digestion and can cause problems with thing like, things like constipation or diarrhea. So, of course, trying to make healthy choices is important. But I also like to take these digestive enzymes because it just helps break down that food a little bit better. And I find that I'm less likely to have problems with my digestion. In particular, for me, I tend to go towards constipation more than anything when I travel. So having the digestive enzymes plus the magnesium um, is really, really great. And if I'm getting really constipated, I'll add in a magnesium citrate, S-C-I-T-R-A-T-E. Uh, and that magnesium is not well absorbed into the body. And so it'll help pull water into the gut and help move those constipated bowels. Um, so those are basically what I take. In summary, I like to take my strategic lighting uh, in the form of little plug and salt lamps. I like to bring my eye patches and earplugs. I like to bring my red blue, uh, red block, uh, my blue blocking glasses which are red tinged. And I like to bring specific strategic supplements to help me, um, you know, sleep soundly and also maintain uh, my bowel health while I'm traveling and eating lots of different kinds of foods. So I hope you found this helpful. If you enjoyed this, please save, subscribe or share. 
uh, with someone you think would benefit from this wild wisdom. And I look forward to seeing you at the next episode.